Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on shear force diagrams. In this video, I will explain sign conventions like anti-clockwise shear forces being positive, deflected shapes, and how to draw shear force diagram correctly and precisely. Stay tuned for simple applications, practical tips, and examples to make solving these problems easier. So grab your pen and let's dive into our first example. By the way, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, Senior Lecturer at University of East London. On this channel, we talk about structural engineering. This is part of my video series on I-Struct-T Certificate in Structural Behavior. Or simply, if you want to improve your basics of structural engineering, this video is for you. In this question, we have to identify the correct shear force diagram, we have to ignore the self-weight and anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn as positive. This is the sign convention that will be used here and positive forces are drawn upwards, negative forces are drawn downwards. Immediately looking at this, I will draw the deflected shape. Deflected shape will look like this. When you have deflected shape like this, these two forces, they cancel each other. This is in hogging region it means that the reaction here should be downwards and reaction over here it should be upwards here the moment generated is clockwise so clockwise is considered negative and between this w and w moment generated is anti-clockwise so anti-clockwise is considered positive and between this W and the reaction at left the moment generated is clockwise so clockwise is considered as negative why is this important you will see in a minute as we have some forces over here this portion cannot be zero it means this option is incorrect as we had forces these two forces were clockwise means negative so they should be drawn on the negative side so this option is incorrect as well now we have a choice between option a and option b and i think option b is correct because pay attention over here here shear force is less but here shear force is more we have two forces over here the reaction at the end will be less than these two forces and the reactions will cancel each other as well so mainly it will be about a third of these dimensions so l l l and l if this is 10 meters a third of it will be 3.33 something so these forces will be 3.33 but we will see it in a minute how do we work it out the main point here is that the shear force at this point as you saw that in outer expanse we had the negative one and in the middle span we have positive one so this is positive and these two are negative so this satisfies the thing but the force over here has to be less than two point loads let's see how we can solve this question we have I'm assuming we have two meters and two meters here forces assume is 10 kilonewton 10 kilonewton and I'm saying this is VA and this is VB let's take moment at A is equal to zero we have this 10 kilonewton load times Two, this is creating clockwise moment minus we have another point load over here 10 times 4 this is creating anti-clockwise moment minus VB times 6 is equal to 0 this will be equal to minus VB times 6 minus 40 take away plus 20 it will be minus 20 if I bring it on the other side it will be plus 20 
So VB will be equal to minus 20 divided by 3, which is minus 3.33 kilonewton. This means that the reaction at the end is downwards and reaction over here is upwards reaction here is it's not reaction it's actually force is 10 and again reaction here will cancel the reaction at the end that is 3.33 once you have got these forces then simply what you do is this is creating a clockwise moment so clockwise is negative this is creating anti-clockwise moment so anti-clockwise is positive and again this is creating a clockwise moment which is negative it means that i will simply draw these two this is negative and here the force would be upwards then i will bring it down and here and here so the correct option is option b option a is incorrect because reaction cannot be more than a couple between these two forces let me now move to this question identify correct shear force diagram ignore self weight and anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn as positive this is a sign convention that we will use anti-clockwise forces are positive and this is how we will draw the shear force diagram positive upwards and negative forces downwards to solve this question we need to have a deflected shape so deflected shape for this beam will be like this no horizontal reaction is developing over here it means that shear force in this will be zero in this support will be zero option a is incorrect because shear force is not developing in the column so i will cross this option option b is incorrect as well because no shear force is developing in the column option d is incorrect because we have uniformly distributed load when we have uniformly distributed load the shear force will not be like that it will create a couple so this is wrong option c is the correct option and i will prove it by assuming some values let us assume we have 10 kilo newton over here and we have 10 kilo newton per meter and say that this is six meters and say that this is four meters and i call this point as a and i call this point as b the summation of moment at b is equal to zero there will be reaction over here there will be reaction here due to udl it will be 10 times 6 times 6 over 2 plus va this is va this is vb va times 6 this is creating clockwise moment is equal to 0 so 6 and 6 will get cancelled and va will be equal to 10 times 6 over 2 so va will be equal to 30 kilonewton if va is 30 vb will be equal to 30 as well and hb will be equal to 10 kilonewton which is horizontal reaction over here once we have these forces then all we have to do is to draw the three body diagram i have 30 kilonewton here and i have 30 kilonewton here as reaction is not developing so that's why horizontal reaction does not make much sense to me and simply i will draw it like this 10 kilonewton per meter and this is six meters so here we can say that this is will go up by 30 that is reaction and between this point and this point i have a downward force so downward force will generate some loading so 10 times 6 so subtracting from here as this is upwards that's why it is positive and then we have negative over here 
this is our shear force diagram this means that option c is the correct option all other options are incorrect